what you say, Sir Needle, is true. Musicality, musicianship, musical taste, and genres as a whole live and revel in a seemingly infinite grayscale, forever being misshapen, reshaped, created, mutated, and evolved into new, more culturally relevant realms of understanding, and understanding that can only be defined through a cultural context. Now consider all culture. It is essentially the fingerprint of a population, ideas put in motion, visualized through many mediums, even the auditory ones. It is the expression of all emotions and mass. Music is one of these mediums, and without ideas, it would be nothing. It is not as easy as saying, music will never die, because nothing in music is ever that simple. Consider culture once more, how its ideas are deemed relevant to all within it and how the ideas deemed unnecessary are thrown out. Music follows this guideline because music is an expressive tool for ideas. It is no coincidence that music from the revolutionary era in the US isn't topping the charts. Folk music is hard to sell, for one, but folk music from that time period uses unpopular instruments and play with an unpopular mindset. Consider that many songs from those days were developed as war cries and meant to be sung in unison. It was okay to own slaves in that time. Women couldn't vote. The U.S. was a newly formed nation of mostly farms and a plethora of other unique cultural conditions. Nowadays, that music is considered archaic and seldom listened to, if ever at all, because it is near impossible finding people who identify with those cultural values. However, these days, people can get the blues, feel like shaking their, their ass to some disco and funk and even beating the shit out of one another to some old school death metal. When considering culture, though, it is not black and white. Genres relevant to our society today are not always relevant to other societies. This is why, in my personal opinion, American hardcore punk is dead. As people are identifying with the music too much instead of the mentality, not to mention it is a fucking cash cow. But a very similar scene is very much alive and well in the former uh, Soviet states, which is very understandable considering how horrible of a society those people came from. Now my point here isn't necessarily that music can die, but ideas can. Who here in this society thinks that pharaohs are relevant? Who thinks that pharaohs are half god, half man? Who here in this society worships Greek mythology to the T? I, I bring these things up because music is never, oh, I hear sounds and I express my ideas through sound. It's never that simple. The environment affects music just as much as any other thing. Without the environment, music would not exist. And so you have to consider the culture that the music came from. It makes it more relevant. That's why people today they don't get into revolutionary era folk music. That's why even people today, you know, um, the younger generation of today, don't really enjoy listening to the talking heads. It's just not relevant to them. It's not something they can identify with. The reason why music can die is if an idea dies. And ideas have been shown to die. Just because we can remember the death of an idea doesn't mean it's alive. So, in conclusion, music can die because ideas can die. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because ideas are only deemed irrelevant by a society if they have a use. If you have no use for an idea, then there's no reason to implore the creation of, an, uh, of a song or something in dedication to that, to that idea, or from that idea. This doesn't necessarily mean that things can be brought back to life, can't be brought back to life. Music can be brought to life again. It can happen. But it can die. It very much can. I don't see the death of a genre, or the death of a certain musical mindset to be entirely a bad thing. Uh, if there's no relevance to keeping it around. Um, personally, I don't identify with ancient Greek uh, mindsets. So, why would I keep their music around? I like the music from the past, you know, 400, 500 years. That's the music I like. Before that, it doesn't really matter to me. 
I understand that it has its place, and I understand that it is just as relevant as any genre I'm listening to today. But at the same time, it it's lost its current and present relevance because there are genres of music that have essentially overtaken it. So, with that being said, I am the Axel Snacks, and peace.